guys, it's Donna from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do today, flavor twisters, we are going to make a delicious recipe. We are going to make some beef fried rice. And it's not the authentic way of making it, but it's so delicious. So we're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to add a special seasoning packet and we're going to use some delicious shaved ribeye steak. So let's get ready for this recipe, guys. Here are all the delicious ingredients that we are going to use. First of all, guys, over in this container, I have some thin slice um, ribeye steak. And it's like um, really thin shaved. It's like a pound of that. We're going to use that for our beef fried rice. I have a quarter cup of soy sauce. I have some rice wine here, marin. I have three cups of um, cooked rice over there. I have some peas and carrots, it's like a cup and a half. And I also have a teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of ginger. I have a small onion chop, three large cloves of garlic that I put in my press, and I have two eggs. And also, we have some um, fried rice seasoning mix right here. So this is going to be really delicious, guys. It's a real quick and easy recipe. And like I said, it's in my homemade. So let's get started. We're going to get this meat into the wok. Okay, guys. I have our steak in the wok. I don't know what happened. Um, my camera cut off and I thought it was on. So all I did was season this steak with salt and pepper and put it in here. That's all I did. So what we're going to do is um, let this get a little brown. It doesn't have to cook long. And then we're going to take it out because it's going to finish cooking with the when I stir fry the rice and everything. But it doesn't take long because it stays real thin. And like I said, just sprinkle some salt and pepper on it. And I had the, um, a tablespoon of olive oil and I put in the wok. I don't know what happened. I'm up here filming, thinking I was filming and talking in the camera. It had cut off for some reason. So. You didn't miss anything. Like I said, just sprinkle some salt and pepper on your meat. Put a tablespoon of um, olive oil in the wok. And just sear your steak. And there we go. Now the red is almost gone. And I'll be taking this out because it doesn't take long. Like I said, it's really thinly shaved. But it's so good, guys. This is ribeye steak. And you can't go wrong with this. I like this better than the flank steak and everything in my beef fried rice because it's not, you don't have to worry about it being tough. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is remove this steak out of here. And we're going to get the rest of our goodies. Okay, guys, you leave the um, juices in from the beef and put in your mixed vegetables. Okay. And the onion. And also, we're going to let this go for a minute or so. And then we're going to add in that garlic. Okay, and just let that go until it softens a little. And these are just frozen um, peas and carrots. You don't have to thaw them first. Let's put them in there. And what I'm going to do is drizzle just a little bit more olive oil in. Just about a teaspoon. There we go. Mmm, yum. And what I forgot to tell you guys, I always leave something out 
But I remember it and then I have to tell you guys what I forgot. Um, you know me and my better than bouillon. I love this seasoning. This is the beef base. I took one teaspoon of better than bouillon beef base and I put it in a cup of water to make my beef broth. And we're going to use this also. So don't forget that. I will have it in the um, description with the ingredients when you um, look at the video and you want to know how to make this and see everything that I put in it. Okay. Mmm, this is smelling good. Now, what we're going to do is put in that garlic. Mmm, yum. Okay. Oh my god, that garlic smells so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nothing like garlic to just smell up a place. So we're going to give this another minute or two, about two more minutes. And we're going to take the vegetables out and we're going to incorporate our rice. It doesn't take long to do this, guys. And I'm trying to tell you, it's delicious. And it's a quick and easy spin on um, Chinese beef fried rice, but you don't have to do all the stuff. Okay, let this go for a minute or so, another two minutes, and then we're ready to take that out. Okay, guys, now it's been going another few minutes, and before we take this out, move your veggies to the side and put your egg in. And I beat the two um, eggs that I had. I slightly beat them and put them in. Mmm, yum. And just do it like this. Just scramble them right in the pan. See how easy this is? Doesn't take long at all. And if you don't have a wok, you can do it in the skillet. It's the same thing. Now. Now blend your vegetables back in with the egg. Just beat it back in. Okay. It's going to be so yummy, guys. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take these out and we're going to get our rice done. Get our rice fried. Because it is beef fried rice. And we want to fry our rice. We just don't want to put it in there and add the meat and the veggies. We want to fry it. So, I'm going to take these veggies out and we'll get our rice started. Okay, guys, I'm back. And you know me. I'm sorry, guys. I have to use some butter. So, I have two tablespoons of butter here. And I'm going to put it in the wok. And add about a tablespoon of olive oil. There we go. And we're going to fry our rice in this. Make sure my wok is getting hot. Here we go. And I just took a paper towel and wiped my wok out. You don't have to wash it before you do this. I just made sure it wasn't no good garlic pieces or anything because I didn't want them to burn. So, now, take those three cups of rice and put that in. Here we go. And this is just long grain white rice um, that I cooked yesterday so I can make my um, fried rice. I always like to do it a day ahead of time. And we're going to let this get to frying here. And also, what we're going to do we're going to add that turmeric, that teaspoon of turmeric on this rice. 
for coloring that is in its nice flavor. We're going to add that. And like I said, we want this to fry. Mix it in. It gives it a nice yellow flavor, yellow coloring, and that's a yellow flavor. You know what I mean. Okay. Let that fry. Okay, we're going to let this go. And also, that um, half a teaspoon of ginger. I'm going to put that on. Mmm, yeah. It's going to be delicious. Nope, good already. I don't need to have all this stuff in. Yep. Let this go. Fry your rice for at least about five to six minutes. And then we'll add the rest of our stuff. But keep stirring it also. Rod's frying. But if you got a wok or something like that, it's not really going to stick. So it'll cook up really nice. For a non-stick skillet, It'll work just the same. This as well. I'm not telling you guys to go out and get a walk <laughs> if you don't have one. Okay, so let this finish frying up a little bit and we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Now also guys, that beef broth, just pour some over. So good. A little bit more. You might not have to use it all, but most of it. Well, it depends on how you like the rice. Okay. Now you want to take those vegetables and add those back in. The vegetables in your egg. This is going to be delicious, guys. Mmm, yum. Now, also, you want to add your meat. And I'm just going to put that in. Look at that, guys. Mmm, yummy. And you don't see any liquid at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I got a little bit, about a quarter cup of that beef broth left, and I'm going to put it in there. Mm, yum. Also, we are going to add our soy sauce, that quarter cup. Mm, yum. And that pack of stir fry seasoning, we're going to sprinkle that over. And I'm trying to tell you guys, this is where the flavor comes in. It's going to be delicious. So just sprinkle the whole pack over. It smells so good. Here we go. And just stir that in. Okay. Now all we have left to do, guys... Is put our marin in. Mmm, yeah. This is going to be delicious. Look at that, guys. Looks good, doesn't it? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Alrighty. Let 
this finished cooking, we're going to get our marrow. Okay, guys, I have a quarter cup of that marrow, and I'm just going to put that in. Mmm, yum. Let this cook for about three minutes, and all these five rice is done. It's ready. Doesn't that look good, guys? Mmm, yum. Look at those pieces of steak in there. And I mean to tell you, this steak is tender. Because I've tried it with the, um, I used length steak before. I used, um, sirloin. And to me, it was too chewy. I like it with this ribeye, the shaved ribeye. And I'm trying to tell you, it's delicious. So, what I'm going to do now is plate this up. So I'm going to show you how it looks and show you how it tastes. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And look at our beef fried rice. And how I like to eat mine, I like to put a little bit more soy sauce on it. Mmm, yum. This is going to be so good, guys. Let's give it a taste. And look at the steak. Look at that. And I want to show you how tender this steak is. Look at this. It just breaks right off. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, ribeye. Look at that. It's nice and tender. Mm, mm, mm. It is delicious. And let's give this rice a taste. Mmm. Oh, guys. You could taste all the seasonings, the hint of ginger. Um, you could taste that um, beef broth I put in there. It's delicious. And like I said, this meat is so tender. Use this instead of um, the other steak. The, um, the sirloin steak or the... Um, Flank steak. Oh my God, this is so good. Guys, mm, you have to make this. Look at this steak. Mm. Now, this is what I call beef fried rice. Look at all that beef. Look at this. It's beef for days. Mm, mm, mm. It's delicious. So, guys, Make this recipe for your family. You'll be glad you did. It is really delicious. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Make some for your family. Go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. So this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.